Hello and welcome to Tributary in the Park at River's Edge neighborhood in North Charleston. I'm Jonathan with Hunter Quinn Homes and this is a tour of our very last Sandpiper home plan uh, that is move-in ready. We will have more coming uh, in the second half of this year, um, but for now this is the last one and it is an awesome opportunity that I'd like to share with you all. So I'll, I'll give you a little tour inside. First I'll uh, show you the front. Got some really nice community space there. And you can see we're just kind of surrounded by woods. And that's the one, 5104 Park Creek Avenue. And just a little look around. All of our homes have a two car driveway. Eight foot front doors. Let's in a good bit of light, which I like. I also think this is a really nice uh, hallway. I, I like how we broke it up with uh, these separate case openings just so there's a little bit of character to it. And uh, what's unique about this floor plan is that it has the primary suite on the first floor. Uh, a couple uh, characteristics of that is the nine foot ceilings. This is the walk-in closet here. And the um, laminate hardwood versus the carpet and eight foot ceilings that you would get on the second floor. Here's the bathroom, the double vanity, a really nice 12 by 24 porcelain tile, burlap stained cabinets, and a walk-in shower. The fiberglass insert. Plenty of shelving in there, but yeah. Good size bedrooms, about 15 feet by 12 feet. I think it's a little bit larger than that actually. Uh, just a smidge, but yeah. Anyone looking for first floor living, this is, this is uh, the floor plan for you. It's also the only one that's got these cool vaulted ceilings in the family room. Nice, big, high-impact rated windows. And again, for first floor living, we got the uh, laundry closet here on the first floor. And this is a, a half bath or a powder room, you may prefer to call it. I'll give you another look at the kitchen and family room. Cabinets on both sides of that island. It's really nice, I think. Plenty of space on that wall for a huge TV. Before I go more into the kitchen while I'm here, let's take a poke outside because that is a good looking backyard in my opinion. You can see we got a exterior rated fan there. There's a little remote to control that. You can screen in this porch if you'd like. We can do it prior to closing or you can do it afterwards and it would look just like that. But yeah, good, and that's a, uh, a 10 foot by 12 foot pad right there. There's a look at the back of the home. You can notice the privacy dividers on each side of the, uh, of the back porch there. Yeah, this is a pretty darn good sized backyard, I would say so myself. And if you want to fence it in, it would just go from the privacy divider straight back 10 feet from where the grass ends. We need to leave a little easement so the law, um, lawn maintenance people can get behind or also if the city needed to come do any work in those uh, protected lands there. But there's a little tributary down there that runs right over to the Ashley River, which is back there. Um, this is in the X flood zone. There's parts where it's AE, the home itself is in X. And uh, to my knowledge, nobody so far has been required to have flood insurance, so that's good. Um, of course, uh, you, you may decide to go ahead and get it anyhow, and in that case, it would be a little more affordable being in the X flood zone. To give you a better look at these uh, Luso quartz silestone uh, countertops, Samsung appliances, 
There's a pantry there and a little extra closet here. Perfect for a vacuum cleaner, mop broom, something like that. Here's the dishwasher. Refrigerator would go there. It is not included in the home, nor is the washer and dryer. All right, we got some pre-wires there for pendant lights. Super easy to add pendants. These are oak treads uh, below that ebony stain. Another unique feature to this home is this here. This is a little walk-in unconditioned space where the air handle and hot water tank are, but you can see you got a decent amount of extra space there if uh, you wanted a little more storage. This is a dens glass. That's your fireproof sheeting. On the other side of that is the neighbor's dens glass. And uh, where it's conditioned, like here, we have insulation that would be right there. And then the exterior wall. So there's two pieces of insulation and four walls between yourself and the neighbor. That dens glass really cuts down on sound. So you really don't hear your neighbors. I can attest to that because I live in a Hunter Quinn townhome and I do not hear my neighbors. Second full bath here with the tub shower combo. A little linen closet. Yeah, good stuff. Give you a look back this way. It's nice that there's a thermostat up here. So it's uh, one air handler, but it's a split zone. So you can keep... Uh, different temperatures it, it will maintain different temperatures on each floor they both need to be on cool or both on heat of course but if you wanted a 70 downstairs and 75 upstairs it can uh it can maintain both those temperatures these are the secondary bedrooms here they're both pretty much identical closet in our old model home we had a queen size bed um, staged in uh, one of these bedrooms and it fit really nicely of course you notice the blinds that are included and just like the uh, pendant lights that's actually pre uh, or ready to go for a fan um, there's a switch right now that does nothing but you could pop that light off and, and add a fan and you'd have one switch for the light on the fan and another for the uh fan itself pull down a uh, set of stairs there that's an insulated door but you basically have over to that corner all the way back to this side um uh, of extra space for for storage up there so a good bit of storage all right that is the sandpiper our very last move and ready sandpiper uh currently priced at 334.9 um, it's a great price. Uh, I do expect prices to go up um, for the remaining homes. I almost can say that with certainty. Um, so I would strongly suggest um, getting them while they're hot and while they are uh, priced as they are currently. Uh, don't hesitate to call, email, or text me with any questions. Thanks, y'all.